guys, welcome back to my studio. This is acrylic painting with Julie E. And today is our color of the month collab with Nate Bright Art. And our color of the month is green. Now, you'll see I have ink set out. There's a reason I am in the process of moving and so everything that I tried for the green pour was just chaos and failure. <laughs> and I, you know, that's what happens when you're trying to mix paints in a rush to go and do other things. And just, it's just, it's been chaos around here. I don't have a chance to mix more colors because my paints are now packed in boxes. <laughs> I still have my inks out because they are nice, convenient. They fit into a small little portable box and I could take them wherever I go to just start arting and I just love the convenience of them. So that's what we're going to go with. I did not want to have to delay the video or skip the video or anything like that in order to, you know, try and get a pour, what, next month or something or in a couple weeks. So yeah. Um, what we're working on are these really nice cradle boards. They are by Da Vinci. They are Da Vinci Pro panels. They are ultra smooth gessoed panels. This one is an 11 by 14 and it's a quarter inch thick. And um, they're just super, super nice. And you just unwrap them and wipe them down with some alcohol and they're ready to go. So we will go ahead and get started. The inks we are using today are from T-Rex. They are T-Rex alcohol inks. Um, these are the Cooler Earth Tone collection and they have a really beautiful selection of green. You've got, um, let's see, I don't think I'm using the Island Teal. I am using Seagrass Olive Green, Kelp Forest, and Lemongrass. And then also the Starlight Silver. And what you see here in this bottle when I'm using this, this is just plain old 99% isopropyl alcohol, the same thing that's in this bottle right here. All the rest are the inks. Just a little pro tip, when you open up your isopropyl alcohol, what I like to do is I like to put one little hole right here where I'm gonna pour out of, and one little vent hole to kind of stop it from splashing so much. And what that does is it helps keep a lid basically on your alcohol. So that way, if you forget to put the cap on right away, you get less alcohol evaporation. And that's just my little tip. So we're just putting that down and then we're gonna wipe it down really well. And you want to do this in a very well ventilated area because the fumes of this type of alcohol are very strong. All right, and I'm going to be using a heat wand. Mine is a Revlon. I don't remember the wattage or anything right now, but mine is also hooked up to a router speed control, 20 amp variable speed dial. And what's really nice is, okay, this is already turned on, but it's off here because it's plugged into this box. Now I've already adjusted it to the speed I want, but if I want it at full speed, normal speed, I flip it to full. If I want it variable speed for what's on the dial, that's what I hit it to. And you can hear the difference, normal, lower and it's just really nice because I don't have to try and always guess you know and monkey with the dial and everything else so that's what I like to use all right so let's get started I am going to put down some alcohol first right down around the middle and kind of tilt it out a little bit. Get the whole panel nice and soaky wet. Here we go. 
does evaporate pretty fast. So a little silica pad. <laughs> oh, Julie, you're a mess. There we go, a little bit more alcohol down. Now, let's go with, um, let's go with the seagrass. That looks like a really pretty color. And it doesn't take much. There you go, there's about four to five drops. Flip this to variable. side of the blower. Alright, then let's put in the kelp forest. Big drops. <laughs> Three drops, but they're big. Okay, and then this is the alcohol again. I'm just gonna go up and down either side. And then turn this back on. Got it on variable. Tuck my board a little bit. Kind of push it downward towards me. Without going off. Thank you. Okay, okay. You want the outer outflow. That helps you control it. Okay. Now, what color, what color, what color? Let's see. We have olive green that we haven't used yet, and we have the seagrass. Let's go in with the olive green and save the seagrass for the last. All right. Put a little bit of sea, the olive. There we go. I also think I'm going to add in some of the silver now. Oh, I didn't shake it. I did not shake it well. When it comes to your metallics, you have to give them a really good shake to get the metallics, the mica's moving. So let's try that again. There we go. All right. And now our alcohol. I want to go back in with a darker color again. I'm thinking that was the forest kelp. I thought that was really pretty. There we go. I want more of the sea green back again.
Okay, I'm gonna turn my board now. There we are. And now, I think I want, let's see, there's the sea grass, it was such a beautiful color. I think I want just a little bit right around there. I'm gonna dry it. Just dried enough to kind of a tacky stage. And then I'm gonna go in, I'm tilting my board a little bit. And I'm just gonna go right around the edge of that area and turn this on variable. Okay. Now I'm gonna try and bring the two together. Loving the kelp forest. Now we're going to come in with the lemongrass. And we're going to use our little puffer. Kind of break up that solid middle. Give it some more texture, some more depth, some more color. And you just keep puffing it around. Okay, while you're huffing and puffing and watching me blow my inks around, I want to remind you that there were a whole slew of other people that came before me today on the train. Um, first we had Holly from The Morning Pour, then after Holly it was Joanne of Joanne Ralston Art, then we had Lori of Lori Houston Art, and then of course Nate Bright, my collab partner of Nate Bright Art. So please, when you get a chance after this, Please go check out their videos. They are awesome, talented artists, and I thank them so much for including me every first Tuesday of the month in order to do this collab with me.
I like that. I don't think I want to do anything else to it. I think I want to leave it just like this. So now it will get a couple coats of Kamar and then a coat of um, UV varnish protectorant, color protectorant on it. So there we are. I hope you like it. I like it very much. Very pretty, I think. And there is green. <laughs> it's very green and very pretty. Yeah, I'm loving this. Okay, until next time, guys, stay safe. Happy holidays. Loves and hugs you all. Bye.